What is up, you guys? Pete Carlo here, and today we're talking about Palantir. Palantir finally ended up filling this gap up here from earnings up around $14, beginning to reject. And it's been a bit since we talked about this stock. Uh, number one, because I just wasn't touching it, wasn't trading it. It was trading all the way down at $10. But also number two, it just has really not been on my radar. And a lot of you guys, seems like a lot of people weren't interested in trading it either. So we're back. We're going to talk about it. So hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell down below because all these videos are time sensitive check out our discord community it is completely free the link is in the description and you guys get access to free courses free live streams free seminars free webinars free 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 <laughs> and uh, i highly recommend you go check out our uh, new course technical analysis mastery it is about a two hour long mini course teaching you guys everything that i know about technical analysis all the indicators i use how to use them risk management setting positions and setting stop losses tons of other content over there go check it out now take a look at pound tier fill the gap held support we had this really good resistance here on the one hour which i'll go and draw this fully out up here at about 12 bucks that uh, ended up actually acting as a resistance where the poc was and also where that 200 sma was and if we go and clone this you can also see that this is where that good support was where we double bottomed down at 10 bucks so over the past couple of months it did exactly what I had expected it to do. Dropped down to 10. Happy I sold uh, when I was holding around 14. And now we're back up at 14. So very, very happy. Now we've come up. We filled the gap. Big resistance here um, around this $14 uh, resistance point. And you can see like a T come right up. Tap this thing and pulled back. RSI pointing down on the one hour. MACD pointing down on the one hour. And if we go through and we actually draw this out to look at how this thing performs over the uh, past couple of weeks, you can see here that so far, 100% of the time since we actually ended up uh, having an IPO for this, 100% of the time it is up this week, normally 4.73% be quite honest there's really not that much data so i don't really care too much about seasonality but it is something i figured i would bring up to you guys ultimately i think we're going to see probably a pullback down to like 1350 1360 test this resistance point and if we snap this because there's so little volume if we snap that like 1350 range i do think we are going to take about another 12 to 14 percent drop back down to 12 dollars before trying to finally bounce there and move our way back up but taking a look at the bigger time frames like this four hour chart you can see that there's not a lot of volume above 14 bucks on the four hour so if we're able to hold over this and if we're able to actually continue to push back up and hold over 14 dollars which on the bigger time frames can happen a move back up to 16 is pretty damn easy because there's so little volume here looking at the daily chart as well same situation, looking like we're probably going to see a pullback down to 13, test 13, and potentially get that move back up to 16 or 18 bucks. So I do think there's a lot of upside here for Palantir, but we just need to hold this range. I think we're going to see a pullback down to 13 slash 1350, hopefully bounce, move our way back up, and maybe hit 16 in the next couple of weeks and or months. But uh, if we do end up breaking 13, we're definitely going to see a drop back down to 12 and maybe even 10. So definitely keep an eye on that. Thanks for all the support, guys. Have a great day. Peace.